Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Joseph for MLB Franchise Insider. You can add me as a friend on Facebook at facebook.com slash MLB Franchise Podcast. I'll be talking all baseball. Um, just I would like to start a conversation. I don't like the Facebook like pages a whole lot, so make sure just to drop, my, drop me a message on the Facebook page. Add me as a friend. I accept everybody. Um, so that's pretty much that. You can also follow me on Twitter at, ML, at twitter.com slash MLB Franchise. So let's get right down to the business here. I'm here to go over some of the game stats and we'll go over some highlights and the biggest story that went down in baseball today, which I was actually at the game. As you see, I'm in a hotel room right now. Um, you probably just see the door there. So yeah, I was at a, I was at the D-backs versus the Seattle Mariners game. Aaron Hill hit the uh, cycle, but I'll get into that here in a minute. Um, there's actually two games going on right now. That is the Giants who are leading the Angels 5-3. to three. Sergio Romo is currently on the mound taking on Torrey Hunter. Joe Nathan and the... Uh, Texas Rangers versus the San Diego Padres, bottom of the ninth, two outs right now with Chase Headley, Chase Headley versus Joe Nathan. Um, that's about to go to an end here with the Texas up 2-1. to one. Um, Down to the game finals, the New York Yankees versus the Atlanta Braves. I had the Yankees winning this one um, in a 6-2 to two game. I called it right on the spot, guys. Um, the Yankees win 6-2 to two with CeCe Sabathia, 9-3. He takes the victory today. Mike Miner, he's 3-5, having a struggling season. He has an ERA at 6-hole. Having some troubles with Mike Miner right now. And then the uh, Cleveland Indians versus the Cincinnati Reds, Battle of Ohio. Um, Smith for um, for the Reds, take the, for the Indians, take the game. Sam LeCure takes the loss. He's at 500 record. He's 2-2 two two with a 376 ERA. And then Chris Perez um, gets his 22nd save of the season. And then we got R.A. Dickey having a one hell of a career guy, uh, having one hell of a season. He is 11 and 1 with a two-hole ERA. My dog is panting a whole lot. It's pretty hot in the room, so I apologize to everybody. Um, Jake Area takes the loss for the Baltimore Orioles as the New York Mets win five to nothing. And then we have the Houston Astros taking on the Kansas City Royals with J. Happ getting the victory over Jonathan Sanchez. He is now one and three on the year um, with the Daniel getting the save for the Houston Astros. And then um, we got the Battle of Illinois. I called the Battle of Illinois. I forgot the name of it. Um, so the White Sox versus the Cubs. The Cubs ran away with this 12-3. to um, Bad outing from Stewart on the White Sox. Garza takes the win. At, he is now 3-5 and five on the year. Two wins away from 500. And Stewart for the White Sox. I don't know his first name. Uh, but Stewart gets the loss. One two, he has a, he's a 1-2 and two on the year with a 6-hole ERA. And then we got the final two games. It was the Toronto Blue Jays. Edwin Encarnacion hit the biggest home run, probably in Miller Park. That's just, it was just destroyed. Um, Randy Wolf, if you saw the game, he wanted to slam his mitt down right on onto the mitt, but you know what? He couldn't do that. Could possibly be bad sportsmanship. He would have gotten tossed out of the game. He worked around with it and you're like you know what okay it's a home run but it was destroyed Edwin Cardinals you know I think is has his 18th home run of the year um Cameron Lowe takes the victory as the Milwaukee Brewers take the game seven to six um Coelho uh, for the Toronto Blue Jays gets the loss and, and John Axford with one and three record gets his 12th save of the season and then um the game I just got back from um the new the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks almost said the New York Yankees the Arizona Diamondbacks win um at the score of seven to one versus Seattle Mariners, Hector Noesi is still struggling this year. He is close to having a whole uh, six whole ERA right there. He's having a hard struggling year. Um, he's not having the greatest of a time right now. Um, he was part of the trade uh, for the new from the New York Yankees. So. That send Michael Pineda over to the Yankees and Hector Noisy over to the Seattle Mariners. Wade Miley gets the win. He's eight and three, and I got um, the text updates because I'm subscribed to the ESPN Insider and everything like that. And I got my phone activated for the uh, highlight. So this is how it went down for Aaron Hill. I was sitting um, in Uptown. It was a, it was actually pretty good seats. Um, I wish um, it was it was a great game overall. I really enjoyed it. I really liked Hector Noisy. He had a struggling outing, but you know I was a huge fan of him. Um, during the New York Yankees times, um, Wade Miley went on the mound today, and he pitched terrific. So Aaron Hill got gets to the um, MLB franchise MVP of the night. Um, very good job to uh, to Aaron Hill. He hits for the for his first. Um, he hits for the cycle for the first time in his career. Um, he got a single in the first, a triple in the third, a double in the fifth inning, and then he finished it off in the seventh inning with a home run. And it was by God a good game. That home run was just blasted. And you know what? That's a good start because the Arizona Diamondbacks right now are having a complete opposite year. I remember last year when they had a terrific run. They made it, they won the division, and now they're what in third place right now. So right now they are struggling, and 
you know what? This is a good start. They're on fire right now. They're at home. They have a six-game home stand. They got the Seattle Mariners for two more games, and then they face the, then the Chicago Cubs come to town to take on the Diamondbacks. They have a good chance to sweep the Mariners, who are having a struggling year right now. Their pitching is not getting it done. Besides that, terrific combined no hitter. Good big ups to them um, on that. And it was it was an entertaining game from the start to the bottom from the D-backs. Um, tomorrow night, um, I don't know who's exactly is pitching. I I don't know for sure. Um, so let's get down to some of the news and rumors and updates that's going around the league. Jerome Williams was rushed to the hospital late during, I think it was like during the game. Um, he was rushed to the hospital with breathing problems. I'll give you guys more coverage on the Facebook page about this. Um, the Toronto Blue Jays um, option, Evan Crawford to AAA Las Vegas. Jesse Chavez was um, recalled up from AAA Las Vegas. Um, an update on Philadelphia Phillies second baseman Chase Utley. He went one for four with a single and an RBI in Monday's rehab game um, with Clearwater, high eight Clearwater. Um, Fernando Martinez of the Houston Astros underwent uh, more tests on Monday to um, gauge um, his process from a concussion. He had um, concussion-like symptoms, and they're checking him out right now. Um, other news, um, John Danks was diagnosed with a grade one sub scalupa scapula, scapula tear in his left shoulder. I apologize for saying that wrong. If I said it wrong, leave it down below. Um, but there you go, guys. That's pretty much all I have for you guys today. That's all the breaking news, rumors, and updates from around the league. Catch, back, catch me back out tomorrow. I'll give you more uh, finals and everything, and I'll hopefully to be home tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of the night. There's two more games going on. Enjoy the rest of the game, guys. I'm Joseph for MLB Franchise Insider, signing off. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.